Hey everybody, this video is going to show you how to integrate the Powered Up Hub and motor inside the NES TV. Hope you guys enjoy. Consider liking and subscribing. Thanks. It's me, Mario. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is take a look at the TV. Um, as you can see, I've taken all the, the functioning parts out of it, as well as the back, the top, and the bottom. It'll just help us get, uh, get the gearbox um, in the back, the motor, and the hub, um, as well as just letting us move around a little bit more free. I love the gear mechanism, I love the design, I think LEGO did a really good job at that. So you can see the back, the motor's actually going to sit on the bottom there, and then the hub's going to be positioned right above it. So first we're going to take off this uh, protective plate so, so the seam kind of goes around the carousel and this piece does block it. Um, and then we're also going to remove a little 1x4 here as well. Next going to the back we're going to remove the brake which attaches to the uh, 24 tooth uh, Technic gear which we're going to be removing here. There we go. We're actually going to be using that for the motor so keep that to the side. couple Technic pins here that we're going to be removing. Moving back to the front, we can see um, we're actually going to have to remove this 8 tooth gear. So we'll just remove that. We're actually going to use it on the motor, so bring it to the side. Um, you can remove this, this Technic piece here. We actually don't need it moving forward. So the Technic axle here, I think is the five. Um, we actually need a little longer Technic axle, and that's to allow us to fit two of the eight tooth gears um, to it, which will connect to the motor, which will have two 24s. Um, so we, I've taken that apart. Um, I'll, show you, I'll show you the difference between uh, the five and the seven coming up here in a second. Now you can just see kind of the inner workings of this. Um, this is what it should look like when you start to rebuild. These are the pieces that we need to add. Again, two of those we just took off, so you really don't need that many pieces if you're making this adjustment, but um, uh, it is pretty easy to do. So there's a difference in the two axles, so it's a little bit longer. And like I said, I'll just allow you to add that extra gear to it. So here we've got the rod in, and always make sure that you know you, you, you turn the gears uh, every step to make sure that everything is working properly. You don't want to put everything together and then get to the end and, and everything is not lined up accordingly. So now we've got the Technic axle in. We're going to put the uh, one of the eight tooth uh, gears in, um, kind of with a, a Technic stopper here. I we'll actually need a few of those to complete this. So it basically acts as a spacer between the two eight tooth gears. Um, and then we're actually going to add one more. And then we're going to use a pin connector here. Um, I had a black one available. You can use any color you like for any of these things, but um, well, the black was fine. It is a little harder to see, but it is there. And it just stabilizes the uh, the axle at this point with, with the two gears on it now. So now we're going to put together the uh, the Technic axle for the motor. Um, so we have a little uh, we have a spacer. Uh, we have 24 tooth gear here. I'll add one more, one more spacer, Technic piece, and then another gear. Pretty simple design. Um, like I said, you don't need a lot of parts to complete this, which is great. You may have a lot of them already at home. You, know, you may not have to purchase them off Brinklink or Brickset or whatever. Um, and now we're good to go. Now we're going to put the motor in. So you can see I put it in from the back. Um, make sure the cord's also on the back too. It helps if you, if you come through the back on here. Um, and then all you're going to have to do is just make sure you line it up with the correct studs. So everything lines up there, which is great. Um, and then, you should, like I said before, you're going to want to do a test run at this point just to make sure that the gears are working. It's, it's pretty important at this point to do this.
Make sure that when you set it up, when you um, set up the Powered Up app, make sure that you have the gears going the correct way. Uh, if you don't, um, I think the world will actually spin in reverse, which you don't want it to happen, actually, because uh, that will mess some things up. So make sure the gears are spinning the right way. I think mine's at a negative 15 or 16 speed, um, which actually is a pretty good hand cranking speed. Uh, but again, try, try, uh, try your own speeds and, and let me know what you think in the comments. So now that we have the motor and we're going to start to put the back back on, just some of the additional pieces here will build up. The idea here is I want to build up to, to make the platform where the hub's going to go and then I'll, it'll be pretty easy from there to, to move forward. Okay, so now we're connecting our hub. It actually fits perfectly right on this little ledge here. Now the cord's gonna get in the way. You, you are gonna wanna put a piece or two to kinda keep it under wraps. I just had it, uh, kind of the life preserver and another uh, one by one um, round brick um, there to keep the cord intact. You don't want the cord to, to rub up against the back of the seam because then it'll cause some issues. So you want to have it locked down somehow. I didn't include those pieces in the, in the, uh, the pieces needed. Those are kind of up to you whether you want to do it or not, but um, just let me know what you think. So as you can see here, we're, we're completely set up uh, with the hub and the motor inside the TV. Now all we have to do is start putting it back together.